Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. So as you might have heard, we now have RetroArch working on the PlayStation Classic. The program is still in beta state, which means there's some issues with it. I know they're working on a newer version that will be out soon. Unfortunately, getting to your games that are on the flash drive, you have to go through like 15 different channels. I'm going to make that easier by showing you how to make playlists. So huge thank you to Advocaten for showing me how to do all this stuff. I'm going to have a link in my description for his channel. He put out a tutorial video on how to do this as well. Please go check it out. So of course you need BlameSync and the boot menu running for any of this to work. There's four different things we need for this. First you have to replace your config file. Now before you replace this, make a copy of your config and put it somewhere safe. What you're doing is replacing all your settings in RetroArch so this will work. So if there's certain settings you like, those will be overwritten. In case you don't like what I'm showing you, you can always bring this config file back and replace it the way it was before. That config file will be in my description. What you're going to do with it, you're going to go to the root of your USB drive. Go into the RetroArch folder. Config, RetroArch, and this RetroArch config is what you're going to replace with. Just copy it from your destination, paste it in here, and overwrite this config. So after you've replaced your config file, we need three other types of files. You need the database files, the core information files, and thumbnail files if you want. You don't have to do thumbnails. It's kind of nice to have them, but it's not required, and it's a little bit more work. So for the database and the info files, I'll have a link in my description for this site right here. It's the libretto.com website. What you need here are the database rdb.zip files and the info.zip files. So download these to your computer. Also in my description, I'll have a link to the thumbnail file. So there's a bunch of thumbnails for all sorts of systems. Just download the thumbnail pack that's gonna correspond with the system that you're gonna use on the PlayStation Classic. So the database or the RDB files are going to go in the RetroArch folder, config, RetroArch, database, and then RDB. Just extract them to this folder and it should look like this. You should have all the RDB files. For the info files, once again, RetroArch, config, RetroArch again, and you'll have to create an info folder, just INFO, all lowercase. Now in that info folder is where you're gonna put your info files. These are core information files, you need these as well. Now if you want to add the thumbnails, once again, RetroArch, config, RetroArch again, and you'll have a thumbnails folder down here. When you extract each thumbnail zip, it will look like this. You'll have the folder name, and inside is where all your box art and snaps will be. So make sure you remember where you put your ROM files. I put mine in RetroArch, and then games, and I separated them by folders. I can tell you that PlayStation games will not be seen if they are in PBP format. They still have to be in BinQ. So let's boot up our PlayStation Classic. I'm gonna show you how to scan your directories to get all this working. Okay, so once you're into RetroArch, you want to go all the way to the right to this sign with the plus symbol. You're going to select the scan directory option, hit X one more time, and you're going to go down to where you keep your ROM. So we're looking at media, we went to RetroArch, and games. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can go into each folder individually and scan the directory that way, or you can scan your entire games folder and do all of the folders. So I'm going to scan this entire directory so I can get my ROMs from every folder in here. Now once I hit this button, look up in the top left corner. That is where your notifications are. That is letting you know how much has been scanned. You have to wait until the whole thing is finished. It's going to take a little bit. And this is why I mentioned the thumbnails being optional because when you have thumbnails, it's going to take every single ROM, it's going to match it up with the thumbnail and that takes a while so you may want to opt out of that if you have just games it's significantly quicker so it looks like we're almost finished there we go scanning of directory finished so now we can back out of this part and if you look over here you see we have a lot of new playlists so before we get into that though let's go over to the settings tab push up to go to the bottom go to the playlist option so down here you'll see a list of the games that you just scanned. You'll have to assign a core to each one of these lists. For the PSP, you have to go left and right. Right now it's set to the Super Nintendo, so you have to go left and right until you find the PPSSPP core. 
Same with all of your other lists. So it looks like everything is correct. We have PSP, MAME, Mopin64, Nestopia, Gambat for the two Game Boys, and SNES 9X 2010 for Super Nintendo. So we can back out again. Now let's head over to our playlists. Oh, here we go. So we have the arcade games here. And we have another arcade game over here, Ninja Baseball Batman. There we go. See, it didn't pull the box art because I didn't download the box art for the arcade games, but I did for the Game Boy games. Now, some games won't get box art because it didn't recognize what game that is. But for the most part, if you have a regular set, you'll see that you'll have the box art just fine. I don't know, Mary Kate. Same thing with N64. Looking nice. Nintendo. Very good. Super Nintendo and PSP. So when we were in that playlist option before setting the core, this is why. Now you can just go to the game, hit run, and it'll start up by using that core. You don't have to go through any other options. So that's it, that is how you get playlists working with the beta version of Retrowork using the boot menu and blame sync. I hope this was helpful for everybody. This is a much, much easier and nicer way to play your games using the RetroArch menu. So once again, thank you to Advocaden for all the help he gave me. He basically showed me step-by-step step how to get this done. So make sure you go to the Mom My Classic Discord, give him all the thanks, check out his videos, subscribe to his channel. He's a very smart guy, he knows his stuff. And thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.